Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all, I'm obsessed with the way this came out. It is so stinking cute and so simple. So the lampshade, my husband picked up a ton of them for like 25 cents a piece at a yard sale. I ended up getting rid of half of them. He got me so many. The metal candle stand, whatever the heck it is, that also came from the thrift store. The burlap shabby chic ribbon came from Amazon. It is in my Amazon store. Um, which can be found in my, I think it can be found on scrappiesrustics.com up in the affiliates area. So we're just going to simply cut a strip. We're, I, I am using um, the, uh, the fabric, oh my goodness, my brain went blank, the fabric glue. <laughs> I like it because um, it doesn't get super hot and it allows you to smoosh it down. So it, it has some like, it, it's almost like plasticky. So it allows you, you know, when you put a bead there, when you put your hand over it, it smashes it down flat so you don't have any lumps anywhere. This ribbon is everything. I swear everything we put this ribbon on, I've loved. We did a uh, paper mache pumpkin. Um, we did a rabbit. I can't even think what else we did, but I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this isn't a very big lampshade. I know it's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but if you can see towards the side, the size of my hand, it's not huge. Um, at first I was cutting the strips and I thought I could just put them on, but it's got a little dip in it and it's one of those lampshades, which most are like where the top of the lampshade is smaller than the bottom of the lampshade. So therefore you have to adjust here and there. Um, otherwise everything will start going sideways on you and you start getting you know, a big lump in the top. So just adjust as needed. You really can't tell in the end. As you're doing it, you can see it happening. But overall, you really have a front and a back side. So the one side you don't care for too much, just turn it to the back. But overall, you can't even tell. Um, so our last strip there, see how we, what we ended up with. And of course, there's more t material on the top round part than the bottom. So I just sized it up the best I could. And I did put a dab or a strip of glue um, because it did it ha did have a dip in it. So I wanted it to stick, uh, form more to the lampshade itself than kind of just hang there. So this was a really nice relaxing project. Very inexpensive because we did get the things on clearance or at yard sales, thrift stores. But you might have a lampshade sitting in your living room right now that might need a makeover or, you know, there's so many things you can do with the lampshades between decoupage, putting ribbon on them, transfers. It's really kind of endless. So hopefully this will inspire you to give something like this a try. Um, it's super easy. And um, in the end, you'll see we end up not using that metal uh, stand. It just, it looked weird. It was just too tall, too skinny for the way that this uh, bar sat the way the lampshade sat on it, it just didn't look right. So that's just sari silk, uh, it's been coffee stained, and these are just little flowers I plucked off my stash. They happen to be the perfect color to match this um, ribbon. Here I go, Miss Indecisive, where the heck do I wanna put the bow? Because in my opinion, the bow is the front. So I'm trying to find the perfect spot for it. <laughs> little dab of glue to put it on. And then we're gonna embellish the middle with just one single rose that I think is absolutely perfect. This is so sweet. I love this. I think this came out really, really nice. And, you know, it's not a hard project by any means. Just um, one of those relaxing ones where you don't really have to think too much about it. You just kind of do it and it came out great. So um, this will be in my bedroom for sure. And I bought, I'll show you here, I think in a minute, um, I did purchase the cheapo um, Dollar Tree tea lights. They're kind of junky. Um, I do need to get some decent ones. They, they're they hard to turn on and off. So there's the original one we're not going to use. It's really cute and it has style, but it's just not right for this lampshade. Just there's too much space there. So we'll save that for something else. It's very heavy. That is, a, I had a salt and pepper shaker. There we go. There's the tea light. I had a salt and pepper shaker from whatever that Walmart chick's name is. She makes all that fancy stuff. Well, they stopped working, so I took them apart. So I have the bases for them, which are really cute. That actually looks pretty good, but this looked even better. And I believe that was from, it had a, <clears throat> a galvanized, like, can, like a, a pan, like a cake pan or a tiered tray kind of thing. So that was the winner there. I absolutely loved it. 
And uh, there's our project. I hope you enjoyed this. Look how pretty that is. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Like, follow, do all the things. Have an amazing day.